Hello, hello, hello. So I'm gonna try to get rid of that sun glare right there, but sorry about the lighting. And you know, I had something taped that was a lot of fun and comedy, but I just, you know, I felt like there was more to talk about with networking and uh, we're gonna put two classes together, not running to everything you see. So, you know, it's not the bathroom. This is my work car and I am a little under the weather. Sorry about that stupid ass glare that's in the back, but I can't do nothing about it. You can see me though and hear me. So, not running to everything you see in networking. Networking is very important. Uh, business cards, I have business cards, and I hand them to every person I introduce myself to. Nobody's gonna hand you anything in this business. You know, you have friends, you know, certain people might hand you an email, but to me, I'm friends with a lot of people, and we're all, you know, cordial when we see each other, but this is like a boxing match. Once you step into your realm of conventions, kind of like an MMA fight, kind of like a boxing fight, you want to win. You want to win. Different stuff, you know, big event, last one was about like, we had about 100 wrestlers there. Everybody had five or six. Networking is important. You know, we everybody had different wrestlers. This one coming up in March is The Undertaker, Lita, Bret Hart. Now, right there, those are three huge-ass names. It's like WrestleCon 2.0. This one's a little smaller because WrestleCon's happening in Florida, and a lot of people save their money. But, you know, a lot of people do go to this as well. So now you got to think. And this is what not about not running to everything you see. Now you got to think to yourself. Do I bring somebody little or do I bring somebody big? Because a lot of vendors are bringing big. So now think about it. You want to come to the big event, but you don't have that, you know, you don't have that networking. You don't have that, you know, person that you think is big enough. Fall back. Don't do this one. You don't have to run to uh, every one. Legends of the Ring couple of other conventions I haven't done and I know that sounds like oh people are gonna be like you have to do this I'm not in the business of losing I come to the big event first time I brought mad people in first time I usually bring merchandise I bring like five hundred dollars of merchandise there but I brought in people and I made a great money there and I want to bring more people but if I can't get that big name that I feel like it's gonna, you know, make money because everybody seems like they're bringing a big name. I'm gonna fall back on this one. As much as I want to do it, I, I, I feel like it's a challenge. You know, we all want to win. We're all, you know, in this vendoring game for a reason. It's a gamble. It's a legal gamble. Wrestling's a gamble. Vendoring's a gamble. You know, these guys who are going to LAX, you know. LAX for LAX Fan Fest. You know, they know what they're doing. Even though, you know, they might lose, they might win, but they want to go there. For the newbies, you shouldn't go there. You don't know what you're doing. Mr. Sims taught me this. Stay here. Because some places you're not going to make money. You travel a lot. You're not going to make, you know, there's other things happening around, not just New York and New Jersey. For a New Yorker, you might lose money if you don't have the right people. Mr. Sims has um, Tracy Smothers and uh, Armstrong, and they used to be a tag team, and I pitched to him that he should travel and go to WrestleCade with it because I think the Southern boys would do excellent. He don't really travel that much, but, you know, he has the right team to do it. If you have the right people... And you see a lot of conventions now are themes, 80s con, The Gathering. Go to, like, you know, they're, they're going with, like, you know, a different realm, different, like, you know, different stuff. A wrestler and me had a discussion. And he said that my WrestleCon guests wouldn't, you know, do well. If you believe in your product and your wrestlers... And you promote the fuck out of them. You'll do well. I believe in WCW guys. I know those characters. And you know. 
if you put it into a New York kind of like you know New York kind of a thing I'm the URL arsenal of pointless shit in wrestling knowing stuff I know everything I'm I'm a nerd by heart I try to keep my nerdiness down but I mean listen at the end of the day I do big event I do WrestleCon now I did WrestleCon last year for the first time I believe in WrestleCon now wow wow you know it's crazy but I got lucky too because I had a business card on me I network Frank Muir first time ever booked with me first time wrestling match green as grass as an agent I had to make sure he was okay I said you know you'll do this you'll be good and he killed it he did well with Dan Severon what a moment that was my Wrestlemania moment and you know it can't be duplicated right now now I got Van Hammer and PN News Renee Michelle and Nyla Rose I think that's awesome lineup fun lineup great lineup promote it get it over if I can't get somebody for big event I'm gonna fall back I feel like I need somebody different and big it's motivation you see these people now like grabbing everybody and you know like I said it's like a boxing match you want to win we're all you know this is a vicious vicious uh, hobby it is a hobby we all have regular jobs a lot of us so it, it's definitely it's definitely let's throw some punches let's go that's how I feel I'm Italian you know so you know everything's a fight to me <laughs> but uh, otherwise we're good see you next episode maybe not next Monday maybe a follow Monday after this since I did two classes today and for the new people this is my uh, JR collectible workshops uh, watch all of them they're funny they're decent uh, they teach you stuff about our business, about vendoring. No, I don't bump. Uh, I tried to bump, and it didn't work as well. And I just went back to uh, behind the railing, sitting behind my table, and selling merch and bringing wrestlers in. Much funner. Bye-bye.